Ringer Hardware was released in 2006. I had worked on it for a couple years before that, but it's actually a modified version of the earlier TG1 circuit. The Zener and the TG1 both have a pretty aggressive, squishy sound that's really well known at this point to add kind of a smash or color that you can't get from a lot of things. There's all sorts of records that exhibit the sound of the Zener limiter. Almost anything made at Abbey Road in the late 60s most likely has Zener type compression all over it. It's similar to the TG1, but you can dial in more precise attack and release times while still maintaining that snappy limiting feel. I've got two of them and I've had them for many, many years. I find the Zener to be an amazing control tool. I can keep the level of that instrument or vocal exactly where I want it to be. The Zener limiter differs from other limiters in that it's like this really thick, aggressive, saturated kind of compression that I really, really like on rock records. The Zener limiter goes a lot further than compression. With the plug-in, I can add subtle color to a string section, hold background vocals in place, or crush some drum room mics. When you have an electric guitar, you can put it on limit and just barely touch the meters. And it does this thing where the electric guitars just sort of pop out. The Zener emulation seems to match the hardware just about perfectly. It really sounds great. The Chandler Limited plug-in sounds so much like the original that I'd be hard-pressed to tell the difference. It feels the same. It feels aggressive. It feels saturated. It feels grabby in the right way. I've been seriously lacking in aggressive compressor plug-ins for a long time now. The Zener Limiter really fills that gap. 